Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. The Asset Sword is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some highlights for March 24. This one is the list of paid systems and tools. In the last video, I already covered the best free new assets, and next one I'll be covering top visuals and effects. As always, there's links to the asset in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code monkey10 to get 10% off your order. By the way, quick mention, I just updated the companion project for my C-Sharp course. I added about 50 new exercises in the intermediate section. And if you need a bundle with gorgeous low poly visuals, check out the Sinti bundle. All kinds of assets to do all kinds of games for just 25 bucks, and this one is ending really soon, so if you want it, get it quickly. And there's another bundle for just 15 bucks, you get tons of tools, a bunch of visuals, and so on, and this one is also ending in two days, so definitely get it quickly. Check out everything with the links in the description. Alright, so starting off with a fun one, a door system. This one reminds me of the fun meme where some kind of dev wants to implement a door in their game, something that seems quite a simple task, and soon enough they have a million things they need to do in order to make a simple door work, and this asset is kind of showing exactly that. It's a door system with a mountain of customization. You can build all kinds of doors, you can build rotating hinge doors, sliding doors, garage doors, you can modify where we want to place the door pivot, you can animate the opening and closing by modifying the position, XYZ, or some kind of rotation, you can automatically detect when the player's in range, and do a ton of stuff in the custom editor. So this one really is a great example of how some tasks in game dev seem quite simple, but in reality they actually have a ton of complexity. Next, if you'd like to make a game with lots of movement interactions, check out this system. It's for handling all of your animations that have to do with movement, making it look really seamless to vault over a wall, climb something or do a finisher move. It looks really quite impressive. The demo looks extremely natural, with no jerky motion or sliding between each animation. Everything looks really perfect. This works with any animation, so including custom humanoid or generic animations, either in place or with root motion. This is a really very impressive asset. If you have a game that is character based with lots of animations, then this could help add that extra bit of polish. Then if you were disappointed with the final release of Skull and Bones, and if you'd like to make your own, check out this naval battle kit. You can control a ship on the open seas, you can sail around and explore or go into battle with some enemy AI ships. The ocean looks really gorgeous, it's got some really high quality, very realistic waves, and the boats all have the correct buoyancy, so just the water by itself would be a great asset. This one works on both PC and mobile. If you just took this and then you got some visual assets for some islands and a bunch more ships, then this would be a really great starting point for some kind of pirate or trading game. And then for a simple one that does one thing and does it extremely well, here is the Button Animator Pro. Like the name implies, this helps you animate buttons, that's it. The custom editor looks really powerful, very detailed. There's lots of options for all kinds of events and actions. You can easily add logic, like making a button change color on mouse over or change the scale on click. Then you can very easily copy paste the exact same behavior across multiple buttons. Adding some tiny animations to your clickable buttons is a super easy way to make your game look a lot more polished, so you should definitely use some kind of asset just like this one. Next, if you want to build some kind of paths or objects on a grid, then check out PathGrid. It's pretty simple, it helps you build road networks or pipes or bridges, really any kind of object on top of a grid. The visuals adapt to the mesh underneath, so this works great on top of the rains or other non-flat meshes. This is one of those assets where if you wanted, you could build it yourself. For example, if you follow my grid system tutorial videos, if you do that, you will be able to build this. Or if you just want to save some time, you can simply buy this pre-built asset. Then here's a fun, very specific one called Cooking Toolkit. You place down an object with a virtual collider box to denote the heat area. Then you can grab some hamburgers and place them on top to start cooking. The objects have different states and they can seamlessly transition from uncooked to cooked to burned. It also tracks cooking either uniformly, kind of like a stove, or just on one side like a pan, so you can cook and flip around. Then you can also slice your food, you can deep fry it in some liquid, and really just view all these stats. Definitely this is a very strange, very niche asset, but if you like to make some kind of cooking game, like perhaps some kind of VR cooking simulator, then this would be a really great starting point. Next, if you'd like to take some object that you have in real life and scan it into your game, if so, then here's an asset to help you do that. You just grab your iPhone, point at the object and select the area, then just walk around the object very slowly. The model is scanned piece by piece, and in the end you have a pretty high quality model. The mesh on the corners still doesn't look a little bit too sharp, but the textures especially, they look really great. This is probably the best result that I've seen from any kind of app just like this. The only limitation is how subtly it only works on iOS, not Android. Makes me wonder if that's some kind of limitation in the Sensor API, or really just the fact that iPhones can sense depth, but most Androids can't. 
Then here's a bundle with a bunch of tools. Basically, if you want to paint your objects, and this includes three tools to paint it, you can paint in 3D, in 2D, or just in the editor. This is kind of tool that is really great for fixing or slightly modifying some pre-made assets. Doing that can help make them quite a bit more unique. Or you can just give the player access to this tool in order to paint their car or their character or their home. Player customization is always a plus, and with this, it's pretty easy to implement in your game, so this is a great asset to try out. Next, if you'd like to make a card game, here's a complete template to help you get started. The game itself is kind of like Hearthstone, so you have cards and creatures or heroes on the board. Then each card has different stats that has all kinds of skills, and those skills actually come with some great looking animations and effects. And of course, you can then extend with your own cards, draw the cards, define some behaviors, and create some kind of awesome effect. This one is also ready for multiplayer with lobby support and connection using Photon. It also works on both PC, mobile, and console. And then if you have tons of sprites in your game and you want to improve the performance, check out this one. Basically, this takes a ton of non-moving sprites and bakes them all into a single mesh, just a single draw call, which in turn improves performance quite a bit, even when compared to the built-in batching. You can combine sprites with different textures, colors, materials, and so on. So this is an example of a simple, very specialized tool that does one thing and does it very well. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity S Store for March 24. There's links to all in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code MAKI10 to get 10% off your order. Don't forget to check out the bundles link in the description, these are ending really soon, so if you want it, get it quickly. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.